the biggest media trend that we as professionals need to take a look at, I think are various trends, right? So the biggest trend for us right now is understanding course platform and understanding how our con consumers interact with all the different ways content is served to them. The second part of that really is, is getting all the data around, quote unquote, big data, and allowing us to take that information and really understand how to best monetize our audiences across these platforms. The role of content in the future of media still comes down to providing the best quality content to consumers. Uh, and, and, and if it means for us at AMC putting content like The Walking Dead, Mad Men, Breaking Bad, Into the Badlands, or all of our other programs on AMC Networks, on BBC America, um, WeTV, IFC, and Sundance, it really is all about providing the best content and making the distribution paths available to all of our consumers of our content. So we need to be cognizant of what we do with the MVPDs, but also need to be cognizant too as how are consumers basically watching our content, whether it's through mobile devices, on smart televisions or tablets. Today the biggest obstacle in audience engagement probably also ties into commercial engagement. So as, as the way we make our money is through advertisements, the obstacle right now is the younger generation watching content that is not ad supported uh, and that, th that the commercials are bothersome. We need to do something to make sure that we make that, that, that content engaging, but the commercials just as engaging to reach so to, o those audiences uh, that allow them to buy the products that our advertisers want to sell. For media companies to succeed in, a, in, in this multi-platform world really is the insights around um, the audience and how the consumption is going on cross-platform. Uh, we, we learned a lot today you, you know, at the conference about the different generations and whether it's Gen Xers, uh, Millennials, Boomers, it's really understanding what really makes those folks tick. And, and the more we understand about what's going on with our audiences, the more we're going to be able to understand to provide the right content for them and obviously match the right advertisers to those folks too. Trying to figure out what the impact of Millennials in the current television uh, and media industry is today is I guess one of those um, problems we're trying to grapple with right now. Uh, you know, very different as to how they're consuming video and content versus the way I consumed it at, you know, in that age group over there. The other part of understanding millennials is how when they age up you know, beyond their group right now, 14 to 34, is how they're gonna be consuming all of that content. You know, will it continue on small devices or will it continue on larger devices? I think it will be on the larger devices, your big screen televisions, but the content that they may be going to first right now is the content that they're used to. So whether it is a Netflix, whether it is an AMC, whether it is, you know, anything that may be on Amazon, those are the things that we're gonna to need to best understand about millennials. The future of media over the next five years, I believe, is, is moving towards a, a much more fractionalized world, where today, still today, you know, the traditional television represents a majority of the viewing. I still think it will be a large part of viewing, but it may not be the majority, it may be the plurality. It's really for us as researchers to keep in tune how viewers are consuming content in all the various different platforms and all the various different windows of how that content is made available.